Boom. Awesome. Well, see, I figure if you're gonna light it up with all these, like, luminescent corals and whatnot, that should probably imply that you can stand on there. Because every other platform you can't go on, I feel like, doesn't have the glowing coral on it. So the implication is that if it has a glowing coral, coral then you're supposed to be able to go on there. But that's apparently not the case. Also, something always bugged me in the original. I remember... So there was a sleepy time that it would appear up here, but it would only appear up here once you... Went to a certain place. Can I actually stand on this, by the way? Uh, it doesn't mean much height. I can. But uh, only once you went like around here, a sleep time would immediately appear over here. In fact, it's not there right now. Which is probably to imply that it will appear if I go somewhere else. But you had to go somewhere like down around here. Oh wow, did they actually do that? Okay, they tried to make a wall wide. They can actually just fly around the wall? <laughs> That's not a very effective wall now, is it? You can literally just sidestep the wall. No need for the fancy climbing shenanigans that I came up with. Is that sleepy time up here now, though? I'm curious what makes that sleepy time appear. Because in the original, it would just instantaneously appear. Nothing would spawn it. It would just instantaneously appear under certain circumstances. Can you stay on this? No. I think in the original, you could actually jump and climb up this thing here. Take it up top. Even faster. This one, you can't do anything that sort of looks like. I guess I still managed to get up top anyways. I don't know that thing spawns and bombs first as well. But anyways. It make it, every time you come here it makes the sound as if those things are falling, but they don't actually fall. Okay. So, idea time. Oh, uh, darn, I messed that up. So I suspect I can actually... Well, I don't know, I, might, I still might not be able to get across there. My idea was to... get an extra jump by passoing. Oh, come on. Down here again. But I don't think that's really going to work because... And they went through so much effort, it looks like, to keep you from smooth breaking these things the way you used to be able to, but some of them, in some cases, they just reintroduce the exact same old tricks anyways. So now I can just do this. I almost thought I did that earlier. I already found another way to get past this, too. If this isn't enough, but... Oh. I don't think I need to use the lasso which to oh, come on. To get up there, but I can use it if I have to. Ah. She's not lassoing for some reason. I'm trying to lasso that tiki down there. The, the prompt was appearing, of course she just wasn't doing it. See all these up here? Don't help. I guess I just need to go around the wall. The way I did earlier was cool, using the lasso glitch, but... This isn't quite working now. Alright, whatever. Hello. Come on. Yeah, yeah, you think you're smart, man. Slightly extending that wall. Do they play test this part? Like, do they actually test? Can you get past this wall? Keep me in mind. It makes sound without doing anything. Can you actually get past this wall? 
with with the effort that we made to keep people from getting past it, then you can actually go past it <laughs> with minimal effort. Anyways, let's reactivate this checkpoint. I said let's reactivate this checkpoint, please. There we go. And just to humor the game, we can go around here the way we're supposed to. And I don't expect I'll be able to use a triple jump glitch from here to get out there. Oh, come on. Ah, I keep forgetting that. You need to... So normally you can just hold the jump button. You can do a double jump to start lassoing in the air. In this one you have you to... Okay? When you do this glitch... You look kind of green. Why do you talk to me? Whereas... In this case, you need to actually press the button again to activate the lasso. No, not, not so, I won't say. I believe there's just a, a hidden button you have to find to make a hook here. So everybody drop me there. It's not a checkpoint. I don't remember where it actually is, but there's just a button somewhere you have to hit, I think. So I'm kind of hidden. Now, I think it's the later level though, rather than earlier. Remember right? I don't remember very well. better make good use of all these. I'll check here real quick, just to make sure I don't step right past it. This rock bomb does like hiding things on the opposite sides of stuff and whatnot. Looks like everything's here though. Also, of course, I could've just switched to Sandy and then skipped all this stuff by flying across from here. That's probably what you never did. I guess I didn't even have to do the skips down here. I'm gonna switch to Sandy, jump up there, and then jump across here. I'm gonna jump up to the platform with the CV Times, and then jump up to where I am now. Anyways, Bob's gotta go get a soccer patch or whatever it is over here. Also, I've got my eye on yours, Plankton. SpongeBob, I command you to bring Sandy to me for this next job. Platforms I don't actually have to worry about. And he's just stuck in place. That was a fine little tour. Spongy. Which for some reason just comes from a little floating whatever. I always wonder what the deal is with this giant laser though. <laughs> I guess it's just rock bottom, so it's just stuff. It is just a sock. Sometimes you have to you have to pay more to get it. Bungees for the purpose of spatulas and for socks, or is, does the game just sometimes make you pay a ton for a sock? I don't quite remember. I never pay attention to how much those cost. Hello. I know something. That is reaping on its own, or switching characters like that over here. This switching characters makes it very pure. Interesting. Or I might just be an incidental amount of time. Kind of weird to just pop back into existence though. Uh, let's actually just jump down here. Doesn't need the sock. Oh yeah, is this the button you have to hit for the. Yeah, that's how you get the tarnation spatula. Okay. I knew there was something down here. Oh, I guess I thought it was just the sock though. Torpedo. All right, well, let's go pick that up real quick. Let me say I did that. Get that without being a button too, but just mashing the button to try to grab the thing. Anyway, that's another thing done. 
And I'll just leave that wall up just to leave my mark on this game as having exploited it. It's satisfying. I think when I started this game I had in my head that I was going to do like a nice, natural, honest playthrough. I've abandoned that idea. Hello, that's a friend. Let's do that, exactly. Whatever. Do I need, by the way? I feel like they've decreased the distance across these gaps here. Because I don't think I need these hooks. I thought you need the hooks in the original. I'm becoming more powerful than you could ever imagine. Ah! For some reason, I just can't grab ledges. Go away. You are... Why are you so short? Why are your collisions so short? You're supposed to fall off the ledge. Yep, take two. I just want to knock that out the ledge. Like, kick him off the ledge is so satisfying to do. There we go. Is that just gonna stay there? It is? I'm using how this pipe gets wide towards the end. Those are just gonna s Yeah, those are just gonna stay there. Okay, cool. Okay. Finding bugs every episode at this point. Huh, that laser feels a lot less powerful than the original. I feel like it was thicker than the original or something? Because that's, that's... I feel like I'm just shining like a laser pointer on this thing. Whatever. Put one down. Can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. Is this Tom again? Is there only one of the different characters elsewhere? Is it this to the Gatron over here? Might be. Someone better make good use of all these. Ah, beautiful. Oh, it's coming to the switches in the middle. You think you can be on the opposite side. And then when I hit the button, the switch. Who's still left? Yeah, okay, can I stay on this one or something like that? You can go away, because I don't think I have any for you. Oh. I stood out for a second, I think, but I got bounced off. Here we go. Rumbling. I think we're just gonna have some fun on here for a little while. I'll see you guys next time, next episode, when I... I guess finish the whole laser thing. Bye, everyone.